Hello guys, Zoxid here, and welcome back to Enderal. So, I'm in the inn, I you slept. As you so oh god, he's burping. Uh, this place is not soundproof at all. What do you want? Oh, hello, oh wait, what? No, shit. Oh! Now this I like, what the hell? <laughs> Did he drop something? Well, that's just how he is. <laughs> now you're quite the sight. How about a little bit of fun? Oh no, don't tell me you're also a prostitute. Mm. He's like... <laughs> you know, you're... Oh, auto saving. Oh, this the auto saves in the all the places. Saves. Instead of having you doors, these auto save. <laughs> you're an outlander, no, fuck you? off! Huh? <laughs> woman. She's just Jesus named woman. Everything was better in the old days. In the bed. Hello, Master Witcher. I was going to gamble, but then I realized I have to kill the troll. My sir. Oh god, that sounded yeah. forced. Way too forced. In my opinion. <laughs> I could do the same, but this is no, no, no it's just not good. Oh god, it's down here. It's midnight now though. It's past midnight. Ah. Uh, what is that? It's an arc. It's not a troll. No. Irintashan Magas. Kirash, what the you gave me a scare, damn it. What do you want? I beg your pardon. <laughs> These uh, grunting noises you make, what are they? Grunting? I'm praying. By the name of the sun, don't you Sharees have any decency? <laughs> Shall the ghosts of the sand take you, you ignorant excretion of a desert worm? You rancorous child of a camel? You... Wait a second, what is that? What? Ah! Huh? What? Okay, uh, it's kind of funny how, like, uh, in the other game they had, like, uh, also a similar thing, like, oh, it's, I can hear some noises and it's doing this and that, and I wanted to investigate it and kill it, and then it's like, the first thing you see is not what he's telling you that he saw, and then when you've killed those things, the actual monster that is like, oh, I saw that, I heard that. And then that comes out, comes out. So. Kinda cool. I, what, what the blazes was that? My fire. Oh really? Saldrin, shield me from your wit. What I mean is how the heck does a troll get so close to the city gates? Be anyway, I guess I owe you some thanks. Without your help, that would have ended differently. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to Yes, the and I have to loot these bastards in the water. Ugh. I don't like water. I'm gonna look what... Look at what... That's like some... Magical tree, I assume. Or it will give me fever. But, I don't know. Ammo crates. Uh, look at the map. So I have to go. Oh. Report Gnallaf's death to Frida. To Frida. Is it Frida or Freda? Because it's like. Uh, <sighs> well, I guess both sound kind of Swedish, to be honest. Meet Lashiri in all the Russian ground. So I have to get there now. The annoying part is finding the road. But hey! I don't care. Let's do this. Da, bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's talk to this girl and we'll get a horse. Or donkey. 
Oh. Okay, so can I knock on the door? Your lockpick abilities are too low to open this lock. You need to unlock and approve your memories. I love this music. Oh, yes, of course you'd say that. Please sit down. May the heart of the cards beat for you. Okay, so my stack will be uh Twenty. Three. Five. The dice shows a number of eight. When you roll the dice, your final number of points must not be more than three times of that. Max number of points, twenty-four. Okay. So if I understand, we have to roll for a certain amount of time, but it can't go above 24. Oh, it's like blackjack. Or blackjack. Uh, do you want to roll the dice again to raise your final number of points? Your current point is 7. Uh, cast the dice again. 1, 6, okay. Uh, your current points 13. I'm gonna cast them once again. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't cast the dices. Neither you nor Mary Shipper win the potential replies pool of 20 pennies. It's just not my day. Hmm. To win tea. Okay, so six, so max number of points eighteen. Okay. With a number of twenty, which exceeds the max number of points of eighteen. Maru Shepherd loses Shepherdman loses the game. It went double the amount of the original bet, which amounted to forty pennies. Hmm. Stop playing. Please. Down. That's a nice game. But now I know there is a Hello. Do you come here often, lady? Okay, she doesn't really want to talk to Malfrance's me. Fuck off. Hmm? Hello. I played this, I think. Wait a yeah. moment. <coughs> Get the fuck out of here! No. Gambling table. Do you want to play battle for Triomar? Right, so let's put it at 50, will we? Shall we? Potential profit 102 pennies. Okay. Press backspace to. Uh. So eleven. Oh shit. Okay. 
Okay, so he gave me 23. So, uh, 122 removed. Like a what? You wager 10 pennies. Okay, so 20. What the hell? Do not cast the dice. I get a good point system as a 6. 4, yes. This is good. Yes! Just gonna throw the dice. Uh, team displayed a strength of 17 points, but Kamala boosted them by 4 by doing so. Gomez Bella lost 4 pennies, which go directly to you. Used 4 pennies. Strength of your team, 22. Strength of Gomez Bella's team, 21. Okay, so I earned money. Well, uh... Quit playing, because I'm losing way too much money. As I said, I the will. offer stands. Take care. Just think about it, okay? Wait, Wait what? <coughs> You're an outlander, Whoa, which you? offer? What? Malfast Get off my face. Make oh, you're not from around here, are you? Yeah, you don't. I know that accent. Okay, uh, okay, I... Wait, just leave me alone. You work for the order, don't Damn you? Bullies. Why are those wild mages up in the temple? Malfast, forgive my doubts, but why would the Grandmaster side with heretics? It just doesn't add up. Uh, I've never seen anyone Again. doing that. Come on, take a seat. No! It's the time. It's just 2 a.m. Hello. Who we'll love Feather Dance? This is. I'm like. Malfas's blessings. Hello. Ul for feather dance and Ulla feather dance. Like all of these are like names that are Sicilian. He's drunk. <laughs> Bagpiper. Just leave me alone. Bagpipe. Hey, you came. Come on, take a seat. All right. So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Well, that's good to hear. Uh. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Narim. Tell Jesper about the recent events. Well, you're right about that. Shoot! <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. No. What? Okay. Sure. Wait, I can be... <laughs> You don't feel much about the red man thing in here, that's for sure. I richly set table indeed. Some of the leads are not be scoffed at indeed. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderol, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kile next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. Oh. <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned, anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion, and I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, <laughs> me as an ambassador of the Holy Order, could you imagine that? Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's <laughs> holy light. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Uh. Very convincing. Oh, you're too kind. But you know, at the end of the day, I guess I'd probably lack both the pathos and the idealism for such a profession. You know, I'm aware of how these esteemed keepers up there talk about sellswords like me. I could save 30 virgins from a myrid on rampage. At the end of the day, they'd always say I did it for the money, 
because I wanted to bed the women or whatever. I'm driven by inferior motives. While no matter what their actions end in, they are good guys because they do things for the right reasons. If only they'd understand that it's results that matter, not intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, maybe the keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. You know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. Yeah. You do? And here I thought I'd get an indignant cry and a splash of wine thrown in my face. That's how most people react. <laughs> in any case, I think I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship to Kile leaves before the first cock's crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. For what is worth, I wouldn't mind if you stayed. The city needs more good-looking mercenaries. Should I keep him? I like this bloke. Well, it most recently gained a good looking Aramese man. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. What? Well, I'm not trying to date him. The hell? I'm like trying to get a girl here, and all I can do is impress men. All right. Well, <laughs> it's good that impress someone, I guess. But I'd prefer it be on my own set of rules or preferences. Why are you looking at them? Why are you looking at? Them? Oh God! I just realized what I saw again. YouTube's gonna kill me. Uh, it's 3 a.m. Can't you say fucking sleep in here? Oh, I can. Hmm. Guys, everyone's standing up at the same time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.